And welcome back. This is Storm with the Game Design Lexicon. We are currently playing us some Fallout New Vegas. Uh, Tale of Two Wastelands getting our ass handed to us at a church. What by these guys? I don't think I did much better with that. Did that guy just throw a grenade or something? Oh my god. Yeah, I should have uh, hid behind something or something. Or some junk. Oh, that guy's got a nice machine gun there. Him just, like, shuffling around is really fucking up my chi there. Too soon. <laughs> hey, JJW, how's it going? Oh, yep, yep, yep. I um, don't know if I really did much better on that run. Um, should I use? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and use some friggin' stim packs. Even though I'm getting low, I'm not doing bad. Not doing bad. Uh, just um. You know, normal day, normal day. Get up, uh, clean a little, take a shower, um, stream, and that's it. That's it. Uh, I guess if a day's that good, uh, or at least that uh, tame, there's really no use in complaining about it, right? Look at this poor guy. Book of Big Book of Science. Nice. Yeah, yeah, no joke, no joke. Nothing bad, nothing bad at least, right? Which, some points in your life, that's about all you can really ask for. Uh, combat knife, I'll take that. Bent tin can, no, that's definitely a negatory. Anything in the crate? What is that? That's a... That's a mini nuke. Oh, hell yeah, dude, I'll take that. Not gonna take your ashtray. Guy's like yelling for help and I'm just like walking around looting the place. Um, what's over here? Oh. Um, small burnt book. That's a negatory. Okay, and what do we got here? No, 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 no. Hey! Some more 44 rounds. Maybe eventually I might be able to use that. And I was like heading towards the guy and then just kind of turned away and I'm like, oh, look, treasure. Oh, nice. Journal of medicine. Give me a bunch of these little uh, recording tapes. I'm going to have to listen to them. Um, how about your buddy here? Yeah, I'll take all that. Um, no, you can have them. You can untie them. I mean, not like he's going to go far. Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you. The things they talked about doing to me. Look, I don't have anything to offer you except these supplies. I don't know why they didn't take it. Um, no, you're gonna need them more than you're I will. Right, it's dangerous out here. I, I have to go before more of them come. See ya. Gain some karma there. How is my karma doing, by the way? Is it, is it good or is it bad? Um, perks, uh, no. General. Um, oh yeah, um, neutral. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm not gonna complain about that. Why would I complain about that? That's that's neutral. So we need to head west. Oh, nice. So what should we up here? Definitely some energy weapons. Yeah, I think I'm gonna dump it all in energy weapons. Is that wrong? Is that wrong? I mean, that's all I'm using is this energy weapon. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And what kind of fun skills do I got here? Silent running? With the silent running perk, running no longer factors into a successful sneak attempt. That's useful. 20% health bonus when using stim packs. That'll uh, alleviate my stim pack shortage. That's not bad either. Alertness. When crouched and not moving, you gain plus two to your perception. 
That's neat. No, I don't. I decided I don't need night person. Fight the power. No, oh, no, no, no. That's good. That's good. And stay back. You've discovered shotgun technique that has a chance to not. No, no, no. Um, so far, uh, the silent running probably looks like the best one. Let's do that. Oh, wait a second. Did I go back on accident? A okay. silent running. Yeah, you'd need both games. Uh, did you get them both on Steam? So the way I did it is I have them both on Steam. And I went ahead and installed them raw on Steam. Now you need no mods or anything like that on it before you install it. And then, uh, here, give me a second. Let me pull up the uh, little thing that I followed to, uh, go to um, install it. If I can find that guide again. Okay. Damn it. Where was it? Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a video guide. I didn't do this. Oh, no, this is it. This is it. Nice. Okay. So if you do want to install this, there is the um, Tale of Two Wastelands, the official installation guide. And it has all the requirements. It has everything that you need to install this mod. And it does, I, I, did, I did see that it says that you can mix and match different flavors of the games. Um, so you might be able to do it with one on Epic and one on Steam, but if you have them both on Epic, that's not a big deal. Um, uh, let's see, done, right? Bonk. Okay. Nice, now we got Silent Running. Yeah, that's what I followed to do it. It's a pretty long and involved process, especially the installer itself will take fucking forever. Um, but, uh, and then after you run the installer... Then you have to go through and install a bunch of auxiliary mods that uh, augment it, and, or it's required to do it with it. And it, of course, it can install those mods itself because um, they're third party, and that would be uh, that would be infringing, I believe. Another fucking Yagwai, dude. Are you kidding? Oh shit! There's two of them there. Uh, that's not good. Am I even sneaking? No. Yeah, and I mean, other than adding a bunch of uh, normal, like, Fallout stuff that you would normally uh, want to install to kind of, oh, install to help you out on the game, make it more stable, make it more thorough... Um, you know, because it, it adds a bunch of quality of life features, etc., etc. Um, it adds a new area in both um, Vegas and in DC. And those new areas aren't just a train station that'll shuttle you back and forth, but they have a little quest in each one that you perform, I believe. Um, I'm not as sure about the new Vegas one, but I've already went through the DC one. Um, unfortunately, one of the things that's kind of a bit of a pain in the ass, but I can kind of see why they did it, is um, you need uh, old world money to buy a ticket to go between the two. So, make sure you're saving that shit up, because I, I was thinking about going over there, um, and then decided uh, I was going to go ahead and do as much I ca as I can in Fallout 3 first. Because it, it, it asks you to start in Fallout 3, because it... it, it says that that's the most complete way of doing it. And so I started in Fallout 3, and I'm doing the missions there, and then once I'm done here, I'll uh, I'll travel to Vegas. And I still got a lot to do here, obviously.
Oh, nice, nice, yeah. Yeah, no, you need you need money, dude, and it's it's kind of kind of a bit of pain in the butt, but whatever. Oh, it's a Protectatron. Hey, Mr. Protectatron. Oh shit. Oh, in GOG. Yeah, I'd definitely rather have them in GOG than Epic, that's for sure. Uh, where'd that corpse go? I want to loot that corpse. I want to loot that corpse. Are you fucking kidding me? I lost it. It's too dark. The music. So out of place. Oh yeah, that's good. I used to do the same thing all the time. What is this? Uh, now I only have GOG. GOG tells me when it has uh, free giveaways, so I always keep that on my radar. Oh wait a second, this is where I wanted to go, wasn't it? Yeah, and I, um, after watching the Fallout series, I really wanted to play me some Fallout, so I went ahead and installed all three of them, uh, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4, um, and I figured, well, you know, I'll pop into Fallout 4, since that's the obvious one, right? And I, I realized that I had just pretty much done everything in Fallout 4, so, like, my character was, like, uber powerful, my, uh... I had completed all my missions, all the the building uh, thing where you build little towns and settlements and you improve them and everything. I had all those maxed out. They were all happy and, and fucking wonderful on it. And there was like really nothing else to do in Fallout 4. So, ooh, money? God damn it, there's no money in the cash register. What the hell's wrong with you people? Somebody must have stole it. Um, I will take... All of that. I will take all of that. Beer? Hell yeah, dude. Dude, I fucking hate this guy like... He sounds like a politician. I mean, that's probably a compliment to him. I'll take that. But it's not. It's not. Humans, humans need to, to yeah, so, one of the things that, that uh, you know, I got from reading the, the series Dune, um, one of my favorite parts of the series was um, the idea that uh, the god emperor, the, the worm, worm god, basically bred in humans the ability to not be subjected to having their future locked into them by prescience, right? So he kind of made him immune to that stuff. And it's my dream that someday... Ooh, atomic cocktail. It's my dream that someday humans do the same thing to, like, political rhetoric, advertising, and all that kind of stuff. That they eventually just become immune to the bullshit. You know, like, like everybody has, like, an inborn bullshit detector. And when, no matter how, like, humbly dumb they are, or whatever... Um... I liked all of them, um, to be honest, uh, while I liked um, the first two. Um, I thought the first two were um, just kind of a prelude to what I would consider my favorite book, which was God Emperor. Uh, God Emperor was, was definitely my favorite out of the three, or out of the first three. Um, the fourth and the fifth one, eh, you know, I can, I can take them or leave them. It's almost like an entirely different story. Uh, they kind of weaved into the old stuff but the the first three books if you if you read them you know in sequence and you kind of like put them all together um, they make a very coherent uh, flowing story in the sense that uh, what the hell's going on here in the sense that it, uh, it it basically establishes a problem with the world and that is, it's subject to um, uh, political manipulation, because that's what Paul's doing, right? He's basically becoming a, a, a 
religious figurehead and driving a, a force to uh, rule the universe, right? And of course, he locks himself into this because, you know, he takes all the spice and the spice essentially allows him to see the future. And, and he doesn't realize it until he's like, until he's like already drank the Kool-Aid that him seeing the future basically locks him into his future, right? So once you've seen it, you basically have to perform it. Uh, that's the way it's going to work. And um, and he didn't really know how to solve this issue um, until, of course, his son came along and had to suffer through the same thing, except with the foresight of his father. And, um, and they... Uh, they, basically, he found a way to um, prevent humans from getting stuck into, you know, getting their future locked in by prescience. When both liberals and conservatives realize the global conspiracy is just capitalism, and, well, that's the problem is they don't realize it's just capitalism. And, and when they do realize it's capitalism, they think that any problem, oh, there's another dancing piece of meat. They think that any problems with capitalism is acceptable. That any any issue that capitalism creates is an acceptable issue um, to uh, to uh, you know have to endure to be able to have a capitalist society. They think that capitalism will eventually you know turn it around and fix these situations. Is there anything here that's worth anything? Vodka. No, doesn't look like it. I just took on some rads for no reason. Yeah, no, um, and yeah, it's it's one of those things that I kind of wish that, uh, and the the God Emperor did it by breeding certain genes. He he had like a breeding program. You're not you're not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? Um, nope, not at all. Good. I was afraid I was going to have to abandon my lab here. That would mean starting all over again. It's not easy trying to make Ultra Jet, you know. Well, and X-Men, you pretty much just pointed out the main problem with capitalism is capitalism has no humanity in it. Capitalism means one thing, uh, ever expanding, ever expanding profits, and that's it. It's it's the 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 forever growth um, of of wealth and um, there's no humanity in that. There's 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 literally the only reason why, you know, and, and I, uh, trying to explain this to people, the only reason why you as a worker and not as a capitalist have anything is because it was ripped from the capitalists by force by the working class. The only reason why you have a five-day work week instead of a seven-day work week, the only reason why you have a 40-hour work week or an eight-hour day work week instead of a 16-hour day work week and the only reason why you have health benefits, the only reason why you have retirement benefits, is because they've literally been ripped from the hands of the ruling class by force. Um, if the if the ruling class had had its choice, it would make sure that you had only your necessities met and enough done to where you, you know, didn't grab torches and pitchforks and axes. So. I, I just I just wish that eventually people would just be a bit more immune to the bullshit that floats around. It's like that's one of the things that kind of this whole like era that uh, we're going through right now with Donald Trump is uh, it's making me hope that this kind of forces people to see the the world, the hyperbolic bullshit world that we've been living in, the fact that up until Donald Trump, our politicians have been mildly lying to us to kind of keep us where they want us and only give us as much as they need to and, you know, give more to corporate America than they actually give to working class America. Um, and I'm hoping now that the new Republican Party... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and that's that's been one of my problems with life is the fact that all my life I've kind of thought that I've been insane because I've been able to see um, what I what I consider objective reality better than most of the people around me, you know. Um, I'm like a, a an instant like a like a, a default skeptic, 
and you know I will only you know you make extraordinary claims you provide extraordinary proof and the fact that you know these people's entire career has been nothing but bullshit and now we have a, a we had a president and, and now a president elect that their entire fucking platform was literally just bullshit like I mean just throwing out one lie after another I'm hoping I'm hoping that with except with the exception of the the small group of people that are now his loyals uh, people just be generally more resistant to it because especially like the current um, the current generation because I mean they haven't grown up in a normal world at all I mean if you think about it you know you had the crash of 2008 you had the President Trump election you had the the pandemic you had all the school shootings I mean none of them have grown up in a normal world and I'm hoping that it's kind of steeled this new generation to be a little bit more resistant to the bullshit so, anyway, th back to this guy. I Enough suppose of you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. I'm actually thinking that that's... Uh, I've been thinking for a while that that's kind of one of the main reasons why uh, people with autism tend to have a lot of the discrimination against them that they usually have is because they have that kind of bullshit detector built in that kind of oh this doesn't sound right um, I need to research it or this doesn't sound right I need more information just built into them um, that it just kind of puts people more on the defensive against them because they're automatically just you know they're they're not gonna they're not gonna automatically roll over to any any bullshit that people tell them. It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sure not that bombs. I think that that's strictly true, I but it down to its base contents and add that to the formula. Then presto, Ultra Jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you fifteen caps. So you in? Good. Now get going. I have a ton of preparation to do. Yeah, man. I've had a lot of time. Uh, I've spent had to have spent a lot of time, like, figuring out how to deal with objective reality and 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 figure out objective reality. Because I mean, you know, you start out in a world where people are claiming a bunch of stuff, and you just you can't really see it. You know, so you're like, what? What? You know, you can't really see it. Um, you kind of have to figure out why you're feeling kind of insane because of all the bullshit you're getting fed, you know? Where the fuck am I? Ugh, gross. So now, I think it's put me in the area that I might need to be in. Dwelling mushrooms. Oh shit, did that weigh me down? Are you kidding me? I grab a couple of fucking glowing mushrooms and all of a sudden I'm overweight. That is just wrong. That is just, how, where have I picked up everything? Okay, what else do we got? I don't know, man. I mean... You know, I, I can understand people saying that we didn't land on the moon. That that one I can kind of understand. That's that's a rough stretch. And I've seen the shit that we use to get to the moon. And honestly, it kind of surprises me. But when somebody else comes up with the bullshit that the, that the Earth is flat, um, I don't even know how to respond. Right? Like, when somebody tells me that vaccines cause autism... I, I don't know how to respond because all you have to do is look at the world around your statement and you'll know that that's not true. You know? I I have a hard time. I have a hard time. And then for a while I would I would respond in a way that was so incredulous that I'd almost people used to say that I was really intimidating and I, I probably haven't changed in that. 
I mean, I just don't know how to respond when, when somebody pulls that kind of bullshit on me. And it's like, dude, uh, have you fucking read... Oh, my God. It's like, have you read the fucking... Uh, uh, why can't I remember? A Wakefield, the Wakefield Study. Go and read the, the, the Wakefield Study on, on vaccines causing autism. Read the whole thing. And then turn around and read what the critics have said about it. And, of course, the fact that the guy who wrote it is now no longer a fucking practicing physician. I just don't like people telling me bullshit that I, uh, that I can easily, like, disprove. You know, so it's, it's kind of really rough for me. Like, the other day, I mean, I had one of my, uh, one of my regulars here on the, on the stream say that, uh... GMOs were causing cancer in their in their um, part of the world. I think they're down in um, Bolivia, right? And I'm like, first off, I've never heard of GMOs increasing risk for cancer, so I had to look that up. And sure enough, there's there's no proof for it, no proof for it whatsoever. If anything, all studies have leaned to uh, increasing your your veg and your fruit diets, um, regardless of whether or not you're eating GMOs or not, far outweigh any of the risks otherwise that they've been statistically recorded right on top of that um i look up cancer rates in their country and they've gone down you know so it's like well you say people are eating more of this gmo but cancer rates have gone down in your country i just i don't know yeah like you said it's, oh shit those are grenades aren't they oh, there goes my legs god damn it when was the last time i saved my game Yeah, the problem with the, them not taking the vaccines is it makes everyone else sick, you know? I mean, sure, they may not get sick from it, but you're going to make us, uh, you know... Come on, read up on fucking herd immunity. It's not a fucking hard topic. Yeah, that too. Not, it's not really hard, people. Reality's not that hard. You know, by default, don't don't fall for it. Be skeptical, but don't be so skeptical that you don't believe the fucking truth in front of you. Ramen skull. I'm not picking that shit up. So I'm already like fully weighed down. Oh shit, 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 shit. God damn it, dude! I almost didn't notice that. Oh, here's another one. Okay, so now I'm trying to find the people down here, and I'm afraid that I'm already all weighed down, and I probably should just go back and... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, actually. Oh, shit, those are grenades. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> well, then there's that. Okay. So let's head back and unload. It's been a while since we've been. Disarm this fucking grenade bouquet. Cause that's some bullshit. Yeah, it's it's one of the reasons why I can't stand people kicking down, you know? It's like, name name one instance where somebody who has less than you has has harmed you more than the people above you you know and man we've just we've had this fucking hero worship just kind of bred into us too this whole great man theory it's like dude you know George Washington may have crossed the Potomac, but he had a whole bunch of fucking people with him helping. You know, that's how history works. History is not just one person. And the idea that somebody who is more powerful than you hasn't been corrupted by the power that they've been given is... is baffling. Humans are not... That's one of the reasons why I'm an anarchist. I mean... Humans are not fucking made to carry that type of powerful burden. They will fuck it up every time. And 
I guess I ranted enough to have a break. So let's go ahead and have another break. Uh, this is Thorn with the Game Design Lexicon. You just heard me and my fucking socialist anarchist ranting. Um, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. No joke, dude. Anyway, I'll be back shortly. I'll leave you with some more AC alone. And if you like our videos, make sure you give us a follow down below and subscribe over on YouTube. If you want to watch any of our older stuff and, uh, great music, AC alone with RJD2, uh, the magnificent city.